the idea that John Lennon really died and didn't pull a Houdini, which Mark David Chapman seems to believe, even though the evidence shows that he shot a double who was cremated very quickly. The idea that John Lennon did not pull a Houdini and that Jimmy Curry was to blame for what was done to him is a double fantasy with a cylindrical function. For one thing, John Lennon was a dastardly criminal. And the people who Yoko Ono wanted to incite for her army in a revolution are also dastardly criminals. They're not the type to ask questions. They just want to hear, we are being uh, given power to get even with the society that we hate. Many of them are black people. And the Tojo Ronan, the, the Yoko Ono's widow ship, feeds them drugs and, um, and prostitutes and glamour in terms of um, popular support for their studio albums and so on. In return, they don't ask any questions. And it has been made to look as though they're not telling lies. The cylindrical function, of course, is much more copious than that. The rabbits attacked us with AIDS, admitted that they knew AIDS was a function of this crime and this case book, but they pretended it wasn't so they could buy time to pull off COVID-19 too and stack that in to blaming someone who had nothing to do with it. It's a cylindrical function. I'll go through that a little bit more. But before I was even born, this plan was getting off the ground. I was um, purchased for a vivisection by the University of Pittsburgh. I was clearly a, um, a baby who was uh, um, sponsored, contracted for it, to be donated to the um, ARC of the Central Intelligence Agency's plan, um, mongered by the British. I'm probably pretty expensive to pull off. They used Pentagon Disney equipment, Hollywood expertise to make it look real. And they had me on the stat so that their Licky Chops faithful could say, oh, he's worth money. We'll auction these curiosities. And what they were doing was in using me as a symbol of the United States' victory in World War II and selling me into slavery so that the Axis actually won World War II and made slaves of our pretense to have won. And that's what we're dealing with right now. Several professionals have talked to me about the fact that it looks like we're losing World War II after all. And of course, the people to blame were like Louis Laugh and the New York Dandy. They could have seen from the deafness and confusion that I was in that I was attacked and tortured. It was pretty clear from the script. But he had been in on the script and he made it look like Reagan, the fundamentalist, didn't attack a child who was a humanist. Instead, they said, what a handy place to stash um, blame for the attack in the hapless, stupid, liberal, libtard, morons house. So Louis Lapham actively aided and abetted the attackers in the extermination program, which he is still doing. He's a... Uh, functionary of the Ono Hag in the New York Kremlinopolis. Now, the reason it's significant that they blew away John Kennedy and then made a movie of him years later when they were setting this up, and all of a sudden, and Brian Eno were, and were working with Vladimir Putin, the Lispansky Circle, is uh, part of the uh, cylindrical function of the British Empire and Paul McCartney 
He's the grossest douchebag who has ever lived. He's a horrible criminal. The cylindrical function is to make us cheer successive murders of the Kennedys and then bestow accolades on the murderers for writing songs about them having to pay, which is what Bob Dylan did after they murdered Searcy. So they stuck it to us in every way, shape, and form, and then said, but aha, we celebrate the victims for you, even though they're the ones who killed them. And the cylindrical function is a bypass. It's a slipknot. Some idiot long ago, who knows who it was, um, said when treason prospers, none dare call it treason. Of course, the right wing made all of their stupid books like on the terms of that phrase. But it is true that the closer you get to the armpit of the smelly that murdered JFK, the harder it is to name the person. People say LBJ, oh, ha, ha, ha. People say, you know, the CIA, oh, ha, 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 ha. They say Cuba, Castro, oh, ha, 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 ha. But when you say Reagan, they get really mad. They go boiling banana. Because Reagan, Clinton, well, these were the guys who bought it. John Wayne. They were, and any amateur detective can see that. They love to smoke and trap. But it's cylindrical. I mean, Charles, Charles Manson, Bronson, had uh, a namesake making films in theory parts of that day. I mean, it was like his signature was his double fantasy. His double was there. His body double, name double was there. His name, it's called a namesake. Yeah. You know, namesake, the way with Tasker, the family goes, you know, go see a pet book. Place they call pet, you know, cigar smoking, laughs, get that liberal, they blow him away. <laughs> he got in my ear. That's the sort of mentality they have in this book. And they lied about all of it. I tried to stop John Shulman before it was too late from his rip off artistry. And to this day, they won't address the fact that he's the one who got me thrown out of town. The mayor. I apologize to me that's about the best Pittsburgh could do. They're not gonna settle damages because they have this cylindrical thing going. The crow cag regards to come out with that color because her name is so defiling human de de decency. The crow cag regards to come out. Yoko Ono, you know who I mean, that hag, with her sonny who attacked me in Pittsburgh. Brutally tortured me as a child has a cylindrical function. She supports the exploitation system of Shulman and Gail Burson and Leslie Katz, who were all partners, because it enriches them. And they just bump off candidates to sell, you know, to raise up the curiosity value. Now, Lakey Chops, babe, well, down in Seattle, thereafter, you know, the card about Searcy's murder, because they think it's worth money, it's Lakey Chops. And that's the whole thing, gag him. You know, they ripper murdered a girl over a penny, completely innocent bystander. What do they care? They don't see anything in honest terms. I've never put anybody in prison in my life. I've tried to stop crimes. And there are people who I would certainly put in prison if I could. But I've never put anybody in prison in my life. And they have the licky chops paper saying, oh, he's against are theories of freedom to slay. And UW Dialectum comes and starts stalking me, threatening the people who I care about. And everybody's silent. They're real shh, shh, because the Lake Utah babe will do the work of the cylindrical function, that penis or penis McCartney, the pedophile. He's a sickening deviant. He set the whole thing up so he could sit there blackmailing me for child sex that he used me for. He could sit there blackmailing me, poke me, poke me, poke me, because he has the cylindrical function. 
he pulled, he claimed that the double died and that the, the, in his second fantasy was that I had something to do with it. And he just said, well, queer bread had something to do with it. Nobody believes it. Nobody could possibly make a case out of it. If they could make a case out of it, they would have made a case out of it. But they can sell the idea of using sadism. You can draw a map of all the people in Congress, a world map, with Omar and AOC, the squad, you know, Primale, Jama, Doug, Kilmore, Paul Biden, or whatever his name is, and Boris Obama, all those hopeless people, Benny and the Jets, you know who I'm talking about. You could put all of them up on the world map and say, we give John, uh, Paul, Mc, Paul Shulman, John Paul McCartney, the license to torment, ridicule, and sabotage, and trick, and and brutalize, and terrorize, and 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 chemically castrate, and poison, and and molest, and, and threaten Jim McQuibe because we like Paul McCartney better. That's what we'd rather say clap clap to, and 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 and. and Everybody would know. I mean, then you could put the billboards on the highway. You know, we reserve the right to void all the Bill of Rights, to sacrifice all of our dignities, to molest children. You, you have all day to complain about it. We'll go down there and the licky top safe, but we'll sneak films of you all day around to promote Yoko, Kirk Ragnar's, you know, secret movie snuff film industry and people will clap clap for Paul McCartney clap clap that's why that's how it works it's a cylindrical function it's a double fantasy it has nothing to do with reality no person in the right mind in a million years who knew a single thing about me any single thing no that no 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 not glimpse or an involved conversation in a million years would be able to corroborate the idea that I had anything to do with murders or the disappearing act, the Houdini, the fantasy that Paul McCartney mongers about me and the life of John Lennon. I went over to C Block, to, um, from C Block to Bay Wayne to console a girl who I knew liked him. Her father played it with me. I mean, she's, of course, an easy recruit for the cylindrical function. She sits there we're doing her crochets and sticking pillows when she hears that Cersei was murdered by the thieves. She sticks the pillow and did crochet. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get it somewhere out somewhere. You know, if, if I try to suppress this or sublimate it, it'll come out somewhere else. Yeah, and I'll, yeah, it's easy to pray for something like that. But the truth is, I knew she liked mine and I went over to console her. That's not the act of somebody who would participate in this murder. And it, you, know, you can't exonerate yourself from the Licky Chops vehicle because the Licky Chops vehicle are going to make money. They're going to slash a murder over pennies with the Licky Chops vehicle. And you do Paul McCartney's going to say, on the nose, I've got Licky Chops vehicle and tapes, and we get getting big, big money at Sotheby's. I got my name in Asian called Cinema after one of these assholes came and swallowed Jeannie around, said he was going to make a film of her, and he did. They filmed her being raped, the real rape film that they sold from Sotheby's. And then they put my name in Asian called Cinema magazine to brag about it. She's a, a Korean girl. They, and, and, and this is what Jesse Jackson stood for. You know, he was one of the Licky Jobs people. He was saying, oh, the crazy then smoozing with the black male image, I uh, see, ah, uh, licky tops. We get called dibs on Ms. Goto, and you could see Boris Obama as he was walking all by himself down the hallways of power. You could see what was praying on his mind as he went to his own swearing and at his own inaugural. You could see it praying on his mind, no way. No way, he was Brother Catano's brother. Yes, sir, he had a whole suitcase full of money. And he was laughing as he cried. Yes, indeed, he was doing the bidding of the Tojo Ronin. And the Axis got the last laugh. And the Licky Top people you know, they can make some big, big money from all that, ain't they? Yes, indeed, they are. Just you go ask Jesse Jackson. J.J. P.C. to death. 
Jay, Jay, Jesse, Jack, you're gonna put you put see to death. He's not gonna listen to you because you white, you white. And, and this is Ken Crampton's idea of sociology. I always knew they were sociology. I used to tell people, oh, Ken Crampton is a sociological approach. And they go, uh huh, that's nice, little Gemma. Tell us about the sociological approach. <laughs> it was called Two Virgins Pussy Ball. It was the eugenic war game that was clocked to the AIDS attack. And they had some guy promoted, Joseph Goebbels, who said he was the leader of the JDL. Ain't that slick? That Paul McCartney's a slick motherfucker. 